preparing to cook. So we're gonna prepare the meat to make some schnitzel. Is that what we're making today? We're making schnitzel. So we're gonna just cut it up. This is a little bit of a, I'm gonna trim that down just a little bit just so it splits. I'm gonna do a lot, but anyways, we'll just show you how to do one. We're gonna pound it out. This is a pork tenderloin. It's the best to make schnitzel, but you can make schnitzel out of chicken, pork, any kind of pork. This is just, Typically, it's made out of, and I'm not being all chefy or anything like that. I'm just saying because I'm not a chef. Just saying, it's the easiest one to do. Now, this is—I've been obviously taught by somebody else. This is more of a—I guess—a traditional way of making it. And we just pounded it on the plastic so we don't make a mess. And while I'm making this and pounding that out nice and smooth like that. We are also boiling potatoes, but not until they're 100% soft. Just blanching them, it's called. But just so the fork goes in just a little bit. Oh, the fork, the, what is this? Toothpick. See, it doesn't go all the way to the bottom, it kind of stops. We're gonna shut that off and sit there for a minute. And what I'm gonna do is shake them, drain all the water out, shake them inside of that, Put them on here and just get ready to bake them, okay? So once it's pounded out, the meat is all pounded out, we drink more wine, like this. And then, we go ahead and bread it. Everybody should know this, this is like a simple thing. I put some salt and pepper into my flour. How much? Tablespoon, teaspoon, it's up to you based on flavor. Just flip it over. Egg wash, which is just egg and a little bit of milk, whatever kind of milk you want. I use, what was it? Oatmeal or oat? Oat milk? Because I'm lactose and no one wants to. And my camera person's about to drink my wine on me. And we just put it in the breadcrumbs and we push on it so the breadcrumbs get inside of it. And that's it. It's breaded, ready to go into the deep, into the fire. And that's it. So now we're gonna go ahead and prepare the potatoes to go into the oven. We're gonna drain the water in. They're soft enough. You know how I know because they splat. And all we do is beat them up in a little bit and see how they go ahead and break a little bit. We only want them to break a little bit. Pour them out onto this parchment paper. See how there's a little bit left in here? That's okay. Now, what we're gonna do is put a little bit of olive oil on them. That's it, and olive oil is obviously not a bad thing for you. And with we'll take a little brush, or if you don't have a brush, anything you got, then move right, even paper towel for crying out loud. You just wanna put a little bit on it like that. Okay. This is a Jamie Oliver thing. You get all the crispy bits from it. All the crispy bits. And we take that, put it in the oven. The oven's at 400 degrees. Put this down in the oven, probably 20 minutes. Take a look at it, okay? And back to our bottomless wine glass. Okay, veggie with this, we're gonna have asparagus. Everybody knows about asparagus. How to deal with it. They say if you take it and you go like this, that's where you cut it off, right? Where it snaps, that's where you cut it. Well, I have a family of four who want to eat now. That's where I'm cutting it off. That's it. And we're all good to go. Now, I'm going to, with my asparagus, cook it onion and butter, a little bit of olive oil in that frying pan. So all I'm gonna do here is, all I need is a half onion. So I had a half onion left over for today for lunch. Easiest way to cook these, uh, cut these things up into small pieces. Not all the way through, leave a little bit, that's all right. You can cut it inside here if you want, if you want to challenge yourself, that's all right. If not, that's okay. They don't need to be super small pieces. 
and we just cut right down through it. And we have little pieces of onion. They're all ready to go, like that, that's it. Nice and easy, nice and fast. So you just down, 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 and then we just cut it through. You can cut them thin if you want, so they kind of melt a little bit more. And that's it, this is not garlic, this is just gonna do this with onion, that's it. And it's done, so I'll put it all in the bowl. Now I just put the bowl because we're filming this, so I can have some room on the cutting board again. And we will get to cooking the meat now. We'll save the vegetables for a little bit later on and show you where the uh, potatoes are. Okay? And that's it.